my low carb, no carb, paleo friends, and healthy eaters everywhere. This is one recipe you are not going to want to miss. Nacho night, got a makeover with this simple and delicious recipe, so stay tuned. So glad you stuck through the intro for this awesome recipe. I have to admit that I was a bit skeptical at first. I mean, are bell pepper nachos even a thing? Before I knew about these bell pepper nachos, we made bell pepper pizzas at my house and lucky for you, that's another recipe I'll make sure to link to this video. Anyway, the whole idea of using a bell pepper as a base went over pretty well at my house. So I decided to use my go-to leftover ingredient from Taco Night and combine the two. I'm not kidding you when I tell you that I have a thing for using my taco leftovers. From grilled cheese taco sandwiches, quick pasta dinners, skillet taco recipes, to even taco pizza. Taco anything is totally a thing at my house. And it can be at your house too because I'm gonna share the links to all those below this video. While the oven preheats, I'm gonna take a bell pepper and slice the four sides, taking up the most surface, and then cut them into chip-sized pieces. I'm going to put these on the baking pan and bake them for about five minutes so they start to cook. If you're making these nachos from scratch, you'll want to brown your meat with some taco seasoning. But here I have what's left over from taco night that I've lightly heated up. Let me take those peppers out of the oven so we can get started. So what we wanna do first is distribute the taco meat evenly over the peppers. Then I'm gonna add some salsa. I put salsa on everything and I like the salsa warmed up with the nachos. If you want to add jalapenos, add them now. Anything goes, because remember, these are your nachos. Now I'm gonna sprinkle some of the cheese over the top. And oh, I can't forget black olives. My kids love black olives on everything. In the oven they go for an additional seven to 10 minutes until the cheese has melted and everything is heated through. Gosh, these smell so good. Lunch today at the studio is gonna be awesome. Now, the final step is to add more toppings. I'm going to add some guacamole, sour cream, some cilantro. See, you can pick these up and everything, just like nachos. For the recipe, make sure to click on the description box right below this video. For more low carb recipes, check out the playlist link. Your meals just got awesome. And you know what? You should definitely subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button below. A new video comes out every single week. See you next time.